here we have a 97 Toyota Tacoma two-wheel drive. Uh, we are doing the oxygen sensors on this thing today. And so pretty much right underneath. Let's go ahead and get under there. You have this sensor here, and then you have that sensor right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two bolts off. It's gonna be a 12 millimeter for that bolt. Um, the new sensors come with the, the new plate and a new gasket for it. So we're just gonna pop the two bolts off, pull it out. We're gonna unplug it from right up here. You follow the cord up, obviously. It takes you right up there. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what I did was I sprayed this down with some bolt loosener stuff that gets all the grime and loops it up a little bit. And then I went ahead and let that soak in for a while. That way I didn't have to struggle with this. It's easier to do that than struggle with the bolts. So right now we're taking it off. As you can see, it pops right out. Mine's pretty gross. And then it plugs in right up here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this part out now. And we're gonna have to use two hands for that. So we're gonna pick back up where we're putting the new one in right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here on the other side. So here is my new sensor. Obviously we're gonna take the plastic cap off, but it should just fit right in, obviously, unless I bought the wrong part. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get this placed in there, get it all set up, and it should just be plain and simple. It comes with this right here, new gasket, new cap. So we're gonna get that placed in there. And then this is just gonna screw right in there. So let's go ahead and get the new sensor put up. All right, so I've got the gasket off of here. I had cleaned it up a little bit, scraped it down because it just gets dirty. You want a nice seal. So we're gonna go ahead and put the gasket on first. Make sure we're not putting it on backwards or anything like that. I don't think there's a different way. Now with that on, we're going to put our plate. It should just fit right over it snug. And then we're going to go ahead and get the bolts put on here. Tighten them back down. Once we get them tightened down, we'll get the... Oxygen sensor put in. We have that all set up, already plugged in up over here. I'm going to see the easiest way to do this, if I should just put the plate on first and then do it, but we'll find out right now. I think I'm going to take this plate off though and tighten this down to it and then go from there. Seems more logical, so let's go ahead and get this job done. Alright, so we have that part all back in place. As you can see, the bolts are all tightened down. I've got the sensor tightened down, all plugged in. Um, the parts specified for this weren't telling me if it was upflow or downflow. So if you're ever doing it, just double check with your vehicle specifications if you need to. Make sure you're getting different sensors or if you can just buy the same of the one and use them. So uh, that's the job. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, can fix some of the codes that are popping up on your vehicle. So if you like this video, go ahead slam that like button subscribe thank you guys for watching